This is a comparison of the following four thickeners. Our quick dissolving Carver 980, our gel maker powder, xanthan gum, and our acrylate copolymer. The first ingredient we're going to use today is Carver 980. This is a polymer that wets really, really quickly and makes a very thick gel. So first you're going to want to test the pH of your water. So our water is at a pH of about 5. You're going to need triethanolamine or another alkaline ingredient to raise the pH to about 7 because that's what's going to hydrate the carbomer. Three drops or so. So our water is about a pH of 7. So we can go ahead and add our carbomer. A little bit of stirring and we're able to make a very, very thick gel. And this is a 0.5% carbomer 980. The next ingredient we're going to use today is our gel maker powder. So this powder is similar to our carbomer, where it's a polymer that thickens in water very rapidly to make a very thick gel. So first we're going to add our gel maker powder to our water. Now you notice that was stirring, it is still a little bit cloudy and a little bit hazy. A couple drops of triethanolamine will fix this. Now we'll check the pH and see that it is around 5. So the difference between the gel maker powder and our carbomer is that carbomer tends to thicken around a pH of 7 whereas our gel powder will thicken around a pH of 5. It also does make a very thick gel like that of carbomer. Next thickener we're going to use is xanthan gum. This is a naturally derived gum that's very commonly seen in many products mass produced as well as homemade products. The benefit of using xanthan gum over a polymer is that it does not need to be neutralized with any triethanolamine or any other alkaline ingredient. So all we have is room temperature water here and I have enough xanthan gum to make 0.5% solution. So we're going to gently mix the xanthan gum with sprinkling to help the gum wet. You want to stir the solution just to help break up any particles of xanthan gum. And xanthan gum will hydrate relatively quickly within an hour usually. So just let it sit and hydrate. The next thickener we're going to use is acrylic copolymer. The most important thing to remember when using acrylic copolymer is the amount of triethanolamine you need to use. So you want a 1 to 3 ratio of triethanolamine to acrylate copolymer. So here I have heated water and I'm going to add 0.3% of triethanolamine. Stir. And then I'm going to add 1 gram of acrylate copolymer. While stirring you want to add it slowly to prevent clumping from forming. I'm going to take this mixture back over to my hot plate and continue to heat it for another 15 or 20 minutes with stirring to fully open up the polymer and thicken the solution. Once it's done heating for 15 minutes or so, then you're going to let it cool down to room temperature and it should be a nice thick liquid. So here we have four different gels made with four different thickeners. Here is 0.5% of carbon 980 very thick and it's very clear. We have 1% of gel maker powder, also very thick. And here is the gel maker compared to the carbomer. Both very thick, a little less clear. Xanthan gum, which is thick but not completely clear. And then the acrylate copolymer, which has cooled and is the thinnest out of all four. 
although this is also because I used 1% of the acrylate copolymer and we recommend 2 to 7 if you want to make a thicker solution. So here you can see the polymers tend to make thicker gels that are also clear, whereas xanthan gum is a good thickener but it will not produce a gel as well as these other two will. Acrylate copolymer will not thicken as much as the other ingredients will. I hope this helps you in making a gel and I hope it helps you with your endeavor in making cosmetics.